Welcome to 129 Placita de Eretes, located in Green Valley and in a private cul-de-sac with many lovely homes. And this is a single story frame stucco building. The owner is currently home and she's packing so there's definitely a little bit more clutter today. The home inspector should be here momentarily. I showed up a few minutes early. But you can see that the house has a nice front covered patio. And off to the side of the, of the covered patio is, a, is another covered patio that has a uh, built-in barbecue. Correction, it has a barbecue area um, and a bar area and a place for a nice table. And it does have a, an entrance that goes in. Here's into another look at the barbecue area. There's the bar, and you can see where the barbecue slides into. And we've got the door that goes in into the house. The light definitely does make some shadows, and so you may not be able to see all. The okay, as we enter the front door, we have a foyer. And there's the door off to the to the uh, covered patio, and then you got this frosted window with mountain scene and with saguaros. And then off to the left is the kitchen area. And here what we have is uh, a little pantry and front window, ceiling fan. We have wood floors, the breakfast area, and then cabinet, we've got granite countertops, cabinets, the pass-through to the formal dining area, more cabinets, and then coming around we've got the range and microwave, and the kitchen island that has the dishwasher and the sink. Now the kitchen, um, we have the, the great room, which is an open floor plan. You can see that it has, has wood floors. And there's that door leading out to that covered patio. And then we come in here and we've got the pass through from the kitchen. And we've got the formal, um, the, the formal dining room. Um, and then that door over there is uh, the garage. And then we have um, one of the half baths. This door on this side, there's the door to the patio. Uh, we come over and is a coat closet. Okay. Coming through into the great room, I'll swing over here and, and look at this bathroom. Uh, here's the half bathroom. And uh, there we have the sink pedestal and uh, the toilet and that probably doesn't stay okay and then coming out here we've got the, the great room that has um, all the niches for stuff place for the tv and entertainment system and then we have the fireplace there in the corner okay and then there's the back doors for, uh, for the Okay, coming around, uh, we've got the laundry room. And there we've got the cabinets, the matching granite with the sink, cabinets on this side, and then washer dryer. And then this is the, um, the bedroom that is um, this, one of the split bedrooms. You can see that it is a large room. And as we walk inside, you can tell that they're, they're doing a little bit of packing. It does have a private access to the, um, the rear patio. And as we come through, you can see that it has a large um, closet walk-in with built-in shelves and a place for hangers. And then coming across, don't want to get you seasick by my rapid movements of the, the video camera. Uh, we've got the shower, toilet, cabinets, sink, 
obviously mirror and that goes into this large uh, doorway which would be uh, considered to be handicapped uh, wide so you'd be able to put in grab bars and that kind of stuff. Now we'll walk back through the coming through the great room to the other side. What we have um, is one bedroom and you can see well it's kind of bright. Um, I'll back up a little bit see if I can get that wood floors and this is probably the smallest of, of the three bedrooms and you can see the closet right there. Coming out, we saw that door coming into the hallway. This is the air handling system in here. And then we go down this hallway and off to the side we've got a big bookcase that's built in. And then we have bedroom and bedroom. We'll go into this bedroom next. Now uh, this is another small one. So this would actually make four, four bedrooms, not three. I think I may have said three last time. And this one has also an ensuite that has matching granite, lights, and a shower. Coming out of that bedroom, by the bookcase, uh, we've got a uh, linen closet. And you can see that this linen closet has several shelves. This room also has a private access. This would be the master, okay? And it has a private access to the, uh, to the bed, covered patio also, wood floors. And you can see that it has a ceiling fan, a uh, big window, some frosted windows over there near, near, near the bathroom. So we'll come over here, kind of look across the room again, and you can see um, the different areas. So right around this curved area is a walk-in closet, and here, um, obviously the non-attached cabinetry won't convey um, and we've got the closet area and then coming around here we've got a second walk-in closet and again anything that's not attached would not convey um, and there's the wood floors going into the master bath First of all, we see the, the dual vanity with dual sinks, mirror, medicine cabinet, and, and the lights going across. We've got a skylight making it very bright. And then we've got a, a, um, a tub with a nice surround, okay? And then we, the shower kind of wraps around um, the, the frosted glass. There's the toilet room. And then the shower kind of wraps around a little bit. And there's the shower head thing, uh, control. There is a, um, a seat right here. And nice, nice surround. And that's it for the master going outside into the backyard. And here we have the door to the split bedroom, the door to the master bedroom. Um, we've got this nice covered patio with ceiling fan and also canned lights. And coming out into the backyard, what we've got is a little Ramada um, with a, a water feature. And the water feature you know, pretty much drowns out the noise from, um, from the interstate. And coming this way in the backyard, we've got low maintenance um, landscaping, which definitely doesn't mean that there's no maintenance, uh, but we've got that area around there that goes to the side yard. We've got a pomegranate tree, um, it looks like a lemon tree, a little raised garden there. There's the gate to the neighbor's house that you might need to um, 
seal up the bottom for the dog. And nice shade tree. You got a uh, large wall uh, there and uh, you know more vegetation. But coming across to the other side of the yard, uh, it does have split air conditioner, so there's the air conditioner on the other side. And then we come into the side yard. And then there's a, another little covered area, in kind of a workshop or art uh, area off the garage, and which we'll go into there here shortly. And the, side, the, the door to the, the front. Okay, we're going to go into the garage from the house. Um, you can see that this is a um, nice door with, with beautiful glass. And going into the garage, what we have is basically a, a two-car garage with a workshop and then that covered covered patio. There we've got storage along uh, one of the walls. We've got the soft water he heater. We've got some electrical outlets, um, some shelving across the top, and some additional shelving uh, in the garage. Coming through, we first enter into um, a workshop. I'll turn on the light, and you can see that that uh, there's that patio that we were just at in the backyard. This is a small room, probably 10 by 10, 10 by 15 total, um, that has electrical outlets. It's got a sink with a drain, um, and the back door going into the uh, the covered patio. Um, trying to open these. Going into the screened patio area. Um, it's a, it's probably a 12 by 12, 15 by 15. Uh, looks like there's definitely some, maybe even some 220 there, um, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, actually, 110. Um, but there's definitely power out here. We've got some shelves, um, the roof, um, and, the, and the screen with, a, with an, another metal screen door here protecting uh, this area. So that is it uh, for 129 uh, Pusita Eretes.